Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask in the world. We tested all the masks on Amazon, so we went to the FDA's website and we found the mask that you couldn't buy anywhere else, but that had an FDA clearance. There's about 100 companies. And we reached directly out to the manufacturer. In this case, we found Dynex through Alibaba. So let's put it in the clamper and see what happens. Now, these are... These aren't like some random masks that people are making for Amazon that aren't making any claims. This is the exact opposite. These masks make all the claims in the world. They are claiming uh, that this will pass at 95 or 98 percent on this machine. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. So you can see that we purchased this from the Wuhan Dimex Healthcare Co. One of the ironic parts of the pandemic is that the place where most of PPE was made was in Wuhan, where the outbreak was, which is why we ran out of PPE at the beginning of the pandemic. Look at this. They've got like a whole like book. These guys are serious. Yeah, okay. So this is their 510K 3-ply mask. You can only buy these things in bulk. We had to ask them for a sample. Okay, and they're claiming 98% bacteria filtration, which is an ASTM level three mask at 160 millimeters of mercury. All right, let's take a look at this. They did not give us the actual box because this is just a sample, 20 pieces. So we can't see what the box actually says. Again, these things you can only usually buy in bulk, but in case your hospital or somebody happens to get something from Dimex, we're testing it for you to see if it's actually meeting standards. That's an interesting, is that a, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. That is a plastic, can I have the scalpel please? Thank you. I think this is a plastic, that's crazy, here you go. I'm not sure how this would pass the FDA's 510K process because look at that, it's a plastic nose wire. And the reason why you want a metal nose wire is because plastic doesn't hold the same shape. So when I put this on my face, oh boy, like this, and I pinch it, it still leaves a gap, which is not good, right? Because as my daughter would say, that's how the COVID gets in. <laughs> Um, so instantly, I don't like this mask, and I don't care what this machine says, but I'm going to continue to do the test as if I am being objective. That's super strong. Why does that always happen? Every time I'm... I, I don't think that thing's falling off on your face, though. That's, that's actually really strong. The mask is super well put together. Like, the construction is great, except for the plastic nose wire, which is not going to give you a seal that you need. I don't know why they did that. It's, it's not saving that much money, unless this is made for MRIs or something which I'm not seeing that, in which case that's a feature, not a bug. All right, now remember, this claimed 98%. This went through the FDA's 510K clearance process. Masks are not registered. Masks are not approved, FDA approved. They're only cleared. This went through a huge process, cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. There are seven tests that you have to pass. You have to present to the FDA, and then the FDA reviews them, and then they do their own tests. And one of those tests is this machine. So if they're not passing this, then what else are they not passing? That's my question. 95%, 95.012. Now, a couple caveats. This came in a bag, not a box. It did come from the manufacturer, shipped directly from the manufacturer as a sample, but it is not the final product. We are not using a GLP, a Good Laboratory Practices, in this setting here because this is a YouTube channel, <laughs> okay? Um, we're just doing a quick test here. There are a lot of variabilities, and with all of that said, it's possible that the actual production masks could meet 98%. I would doubt it, personally, um, that it would jump that many, but it's totally possible. Um, that said, it is meeting ASTM Level 1 standards. So all they had to do is make that claim and they would have been fine, but they didn't. They said they're ASTM level three. Anyways, it's those little things that make me not trust a manufacturer, no matter how great their uh, print materials are. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you uh, happen to see a place online where you can buy the Dimex mask, 
in a box. I'll give them another shot, put a link down below. And speaking of comments, anything you write in the comments might turn out to be a positive for you. I'm going to put details to a little competition that we're doing there. And I will catch you on the next test, my friend, my good friend, tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'll see you there bright and early. It's not really that bright nor that early, but it is a time. <laughs> see you then.